come to example 480 77 by 420 first of all you have to make sure it is in the simplest form is it no no what are the common divisor 7 divide cancelling by 7 dividing by 7 we get 11 by 60 now it is in the simplest form take the 60 and find the prime factors of 60 prime factor is 2 into 2 into 3 into 5 ok 2 into square into 3 into 5 now tell me will it have a terminating decimal or not will not isn't it because why besides 2 and 5 here comes a 3 because of this 3 if you are dividing 11 by 60 will not have a terminating decimal it will be non terminating recurring decimal only i have just divided and shown but you are not you will not be asked divide and show okay you will be asked what will terminate or will recur this is your question so don't be terminating don't don't be dividing and answering without performing division you have to tell so how this procedure we follow so we are getting here a 3 coming extra that is why when I divide and cross check I just verify I get here 0 point you know, 0 point 13 0 point 18 like that goes on so 0 point 183 bar only 3 is repeating so we leave 18 and 3 bar we write so it is non terminating recurring decimal so we will not have to divide without dividing checking the prime factor we conclude what kind of decimal it, it will have all right come to this one example 5 70 by 28 make sure it is in the simplest form of course no common divisor 17 and 28 are co prime prime factorizing if i prime factorize 28 what will come 2 into it is 4 7 so not 2, 2 into 2 into 7 so 2 power 2 into 7 now tell me will determine it or not 2 sir ok for me but because of 7 7 should not be there 7 is there will not terminate so because of the 7 it will have non terminating recurring decimal cross check by dividing I just check this is not what we asked as I told you if you divide 0 0.60 then 714285 what wow. this uh, 6 digit will repeat we have seen 1 by 7 in that way after point six zero, we are repeating part come bar we put. Okay, so because of the seven, this is going to have non terminating repeating decimal. So this uh, procedure helps you to decide whether we will have a terminating decimal or we will have a non terminating recurring decimal. This is what. Next we will be seeing if it is having a terminating decimal, what is the decimal without performing division. How could I divide easily? One hour it is having terminating decimal. Okay. How to perform the div without dividing? How to find out what is the decimal expansion? These examples we are going to see next. Listen. Now we are going to see that if any rational number has a terminating decimal, then how to find its decimal expansion without performing that long division? Okay. This is what our topic now. We have questions like that in our book. You can do it. I will explain you examples. Right? Let us say, uh, let us take this, uh, the, the questions already we have done over here as examples. 15 by 625 is the simplest to form. 3 by 125, 5 by 4, 13 by 80. I have taken only those things. At the time I have written the decimals also. I told you, you don't have to divide, you can find out. This is what I have taken the same examples again. Right? So how to do it? Let us see that I have taken the 3 by 125, it is already in the simplest form, it is simplified form. So now we write the prime factors of the denominator 125, you have done it already, that is pi cubed, pi cubed cap. Next what you have to do, you see the, the expo exponents, means that the power of pi is pi cubed. If you have a pi cube, you have to multiply that 5 cube by a 2 cube 2 cube so that you get a 10 cube suppose if I have a 5 square what I will multiply by I have to multiply by 2 square totally 10 square will come 
I need in the denominator 10 or 10 square or 10 cube or 10 power 4, these type of numbers, right? I have a 5 cube available. So what I do, I multiply by 2 cube, right? In order to make 10 cube in the denominator which is 1000. So I multiply by 2 cube. If I multiply in the denominator, then I must multiply in the numerator as well. Otherwise the fraction's value changes, right? So I multiply by 2 cube in the denominator first and same thing multiply in the numerator also. So you are getting an equal under fraction, there is no change in the value. Okay? So that 2 cube is 8. So you are getting the numerator 3 into 8, 24 you are getting. Denominator what happens? 5 cube into 2 cube becomes basis multiplied 5 into 2, the whole cube. Means it is becoming 10 cube. What is 10 cube? 1000, 1000. Simultaneously numerator what? 3 into 8, 24. So you get 24 by 1000. Is it easy to divide now? Verbally. So you have to keep the de 3 decimal digits here. So 24 by 1000 is 0 0.024. Verbal division. Not long division. Verbal. 3 decimal digits you are making in the numerator. So 0. Point you are bringing the point to get 3 digit away, so 0 0.024. So we got the answer. This is what we wrote here before. Right? 0 0.024. Just small numbers are taken. In case of large number only, it is very useful. Small number verbally, I can divide 5 by 4, 1.25. Anybody can tell. It's not the matter. The matter is when the numbers are larger, how to do it. That's the matter. Okay? When it is not verbal division. Come to the other one. Come to the next question you have taken. 5 by 4. So 5 by 2 square this. So what I told you? When you have 2 square, you have to multiply by what? A 5 square. You need 2 5 combination which makes 10. 10 is multiple. So when you have 2 square, the same power of 5 you multiply. You multiply by 5 square so that you get 10 square in the denominator. Okay? 10 square. So the same 5 square multiply uh, in the numerator also. So numerator becomes 5 into 25. What happens to the denominator I should told you? 2 into 5 10. So 10 square it becomes. What is 10 square? 100. 100. So numerator is 125 denominator 100. What is 125 divided by 100 in decimal form? 2 decimal digit you will keep. So it will become 1.25. Verbal division. Right? Not long division. Same 1.25. Right? Come to this one. Next question. I take on same three questions. 13 by 18, same procedure. So 13 by 2 power 4. Here 5 comes. Here little capital is done. I need to make the power of 2 and 5 same in the denominator. Already I have a 5 in hand. I have to make here I have 2 power 4. So I should make 5 power 4 here. Okay. In order to obtain 10 power 4. So what you do? I have already 5 in hand. It is enough to multiply by 5 cube. Not 5 power 4. 5 cube. So that here 5 into 5 cube become 5 power 4 here. 5 power 4 here. Right. So same 5 cube multiply in the numerator as well. 5 cube is 125. So numerator becomes 13 into 125. Denominator what happens? 2 to the power 4 into 5 to the power 4. Making what? So same power for 2 and 5. Making what? 10 to the power 4. 5 to the 10, 10 to the power 4. What is 10 to the power 4? 10,000. Numerator what happens? 13 into 125 you should multiply. 1625, 1625. So numerator 1625, denominator 10,000. Now verbally divide. 4 decimal digits you keep. 0 0.1625. Yes, 0 0.1625. So long division we are not, we are not doing. Right? This will only, this question is only for wherever terminating de, uh, decimals come. Suppose in case, first I simplify this. When I am trying, I find out it is going to have non-terminating decimal. I will not be asked what is the decimal expansion. Okay. 
is only wherever she is with. Have terminating dialogue, then only this job. Right? Go to the next one. 13 by 8 is over. Right? Now let us go to this one. 1, 1, 2, 3. 1,123 by 250. It's similar kind of this type of question. So it is denominator prime factorized. 2 into 5 cube. 2 into 5 into 5 into 5 into 5 prime factorized. Huh? 2 into 5 cube. As I told you, 2 and 5 should have same power. Here what is the highest power? 5 power 3 I have. So what am I to make? I need 2 power 3. So that I will make 10 power 3. Right. So 2 is already there. You need 2 more 2's. 2 into 2 more. So 2 power 2 is enough. Right. So this already existing. I multiply by 2 square. 2 square only. So what is happening? 2 square, this 2 and this 2 square become 2 cubed. So 5 cubed into 2 cubed become 10 cubed. Right? Numerator simultaneously what change is taking place? 1123 into 4. I multiply normally. 4492, 4492. Denominator 10 cubed, which is 1000. 1000. So 4492 by 1000 how much? 3 decimal digit if I give 4.492 We obtain the decimal expansion These examples will make it very clear for you How do you make the denominator? Denominator must be made into 10 or 10 square and 10 cube or 10 power 4 etc. Like that So simultaneously what are the what is the how, uh, power of 2 you have to use? What is the power of 3 you have to use? In order to make the denominator of 2 and uh, denominator of uh, power of 2 and 5 same, what you have to do? Now you will add. Right? This is the way. Using that you will do exercise 1.4 question number 1 and 2. All the questions you can do. Very simple. Make sure the fraction is in the simplest form. If it is not in the simplest form, you cannot go for this. Okay? You have to first simplify. When the numerator and denominator do not have any common factor, then take the denominator, prime factor is, do all these procedures as explained. Clear now?